DIY with you guys. I wanted to show you how to make your own eyeshadows with those loose pigments that we all have kind of laying around. I mean, I don't know if you're like me, I never use these loose pigments like on the go or I never take them with me on vacation because they spill everywhere, but some of them are my favorite colors. So I'm gonna make a pressed version of these so you can take them with you wherever you wanna go. And it's really simple and they use very few ingredients. So all you'll need is obviously your pigment, any kind of pigment will do, any color you want. Um, your rubbing alcohol, and you can find this anywhere from like, it's different percentages. It goes all the way up to like, I think 95 or something like that. And it just means the quicker it's gonna dry. I just had this at home. I didn't go out and go get some extra ones. So just use whatever you have laying around. It just means it's, if it's higher, it's gonna um, dry quicker. And then you need little empty guys like this. These are empty pans. This is for actually for lipstick. Um, they come in bigger sizes. I use Z palette. That's what I use to kind of make all my own little palettes. But you need something empty like this. Use one that you have laying around. Just clean it out and uh, reuse it that way. Then you're gonna need a quarter if you're using a bigger one that's actually made for eyeshadows or you'll need a dime if you're using the ones that's made for lipstick, okay? And then something to mix in. I just have this cute little vintage bowl. And then either a t-shirt, like an old t-shirt, or I have a cheesecloth, some sort of cloth that we're gonna press into. And then I just have like a mixing, but just use whatever you have, like a spoon or something like that. All right, so let's get started. So I'm first going to take this um, first pigment and you're going to use, you can even use a scoop from a, um, craft store, but you want to use four or five little tiny round scoops of your pigment. So that's three, four, five. All right, so there's that. You're going to take, now take the rubbing alcohol. This is kind of tricky. So if you have a, a lid that twists off, mine just kind of pops up, then you can fill the lid up and fill it up like three-fourths of the way. Here I'm just going to kind of use a few drops like this and start to kind of mix this together. You kind of want to keep this on one side of your mixing dish. And this step can be a little tricky because you want the consistency to be like cake batter, not too wet. And if it's too wet, you can kind of add back in your pigment. So to me, this is a little bit too wet, so I'm going to add a little bit more pigment in here, and I'm just going to keep kind of working this together. Okay, so here we go, we have this, right? And now we're going to put it into our pan. Perfection. And if you have a little bit left over, you can go ahead and feel free to you know, fill another one if you like. All right, better not to waste it. All right, so there you go. That's it. Done, done and done, done and done. So now we wait for it to dry. Okay, so these are pretty much dry. So you're gonna put your cloth like this and like this and push hard. And then you're gonna put a bunch of books on top of it, just like this, and leave it for four hours for four hours. All right, so you take the books off, and then you pull the cloth or whatever you have on top, and voila! They are ready to be used. Please click here to check out some more of my videos. Thanks, guys.